Hello and this is Theme Park Squib and it's 2019 and today the show starts up again. Yes, the show is back for 2019 and I can't wait. What will be happening in this week's episode, I'll be talking to you about the latest news, showing you some merchandise in Merchandise Showcase, doing a brand new Guess the Ride and also giving a lot of shout outs. So let's get straight into News Headlines. So this week in news, we're going to talk about the announcements and what's coming for the 2019 season. It's not a lot. 2019 will not be as good as 2018, as we haven't got two brand new roller coasters in the UK that were going, that were last year. Wicker Man at Southern Towers and Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Can't wait to ride Icon in Easter for our annual Easter trip. Don't forget to check that out when that is online. So yeah, this year we got a couple of little bits, but nothing much. Uh, all we got is at Fort Park, we did have the sad announcement the other day that Logger's Leap will not be returning. It's been standing and operating for three years and the attraction will not be returning, which is such a shame really, such a beloved attraction. But... There will be an auction in May where all proceedings will go to charity and I suppose they'll be selling off boats and all that. It's such a sad and it's good that we know what's happening to it. We know that probably a future development will be happening on that site. Also, there'll be a Game FX competition or event here at Fort Park powered by Hyped TV. It'll be running from the 6th of April to the 31st of May and will be a paid extra, you must be over the age of 12 to experience this, and you'll play retro games, do latest VR, and probably newer sport games as well, like FIFA, and also to see some of the latest VR technology as well, which I'm not going to do that, I'm not a big gaming fan, I'm not going to lie, but some retro games, I do like some retro games like Mario, Mario Kart, uh, Donkey Kong, and a couple of old, and Sonic, uh, a couple of old retro games, but I'm not going to... Um, pay for that, it's a paid extra, and Fort Park's Fort, we don't know what's happening, I did see the Rangers the other day though, just the statues of them just hanging out down at Fort Farm, check out the video, the Fort Park Winter Update. So yeah, Fort Park, nothing much, Chesington World of Adventures will be re-theming Hocus Pocus Hall for 2019 to Room on the Broom, a magical journey, based on the much-loved children's book, Room on the Broom, which was uh, written by Julia Donaldson, the same person who wrote the Gruffalo, which the Gruffalo River Ride adventure in the same park. This will be a walk around, it will be themed around the book. I've actually read the book, but it was many, many years ago. Uh, and you'll enter the magic library of Room on the Broom, and you'll be transported into the book as you'll meet dog, cat, bird, frog, and the dragon all looking for the witch's stuff. So, it's going to be a family one. A new queue has been put in and a photo shop, so it is going to get busier. Hocus Pocus all never had a really big queue, but I prefer original things. I'm looking forward to it. We're getting it on preview day in a couple of weeks' time, but it's probably not really good as Hocus Pocus Hall. I like when they re theme ride and give it a new original theme, like Tiger Rock. I really love that area. Given gave the ride some more identity and an amazing um, presence at the park and more flash because that drop was pretty bare for a couple of years. That's all going to Chesington. Next, Alton Towers will be in two things this year. The first one we don't know much about will be Project Hip Hop in CBeebies Land that will be two junior drop towers located between Mr. Bloom and Tree Food Tom. Don't know what CBeebies program it's going to be based on. I don't know any CBeebies programs right now. The only ones I know are Post and Pattern in the Night Garden and they're already taken. But we don't know what it's going to be. Um, but hip hop's have probably something to do with music. I don't know what musical programs. It's going to have a massive theming structure behind it. But I think this spells the end for the Frog Hopper, as there'll be no other. The Frog Hopper will probably be sold to a travelling fair or go, and that probably sums up the end of Claire Cuckoo Land. I don't know what's going to happen to that area if another attraction leaves that area. Also, we did have the announcement that Twirling Toadstool and Nemesis Subterra will be never coming back. Nemesis Subterra has just been sitting there for a couple of years, a maze was brought into there, and Twirling Toadstool was meant to go through Tales Loving Care, but it's never reopened, it was shut for two years. But the main addition next year will be the Alton Towers Dungeon. 
that will take place of the old Charlie and the Chocolate Factory ride. It's been shut for a good couple of years now. I did do an auction. Sadly, I just missed out on betting um, or bidding on something, but all the money did go to charity, so a good cause there. But the Alton Towers dungeon, we're going to have some. It's going to have a boat ride in there. We know that. And we're going to be able to see some classic scenes such as the courtroom judge, the plague doctor and the torturer which are in most of the dungeons. But then the haunting about an old witch's house and a highwayman will be in there too. And the, the courtroom judge will be based around the Duke of Stafford as the attraction will take you deep into the dark history of Staffordshire. So not just Alton, Staffordshire as well. But probably the biggest new addition... In this country this year, it's probably the Haunted House Monster Party at Legoland Windsor. It will be a brand new dark ride madhouse located in the Adventureland section of the park between Atlantis Submarine Adventure and Coast Guard HQ and the rest of Lego City. This will also spell out the start of the train coming back. The train's been shut for a whole year, the Hot Lake City Express, due to construction, but it will be returning for this new attraction, which is going to be enjoyable. It's going to be nothing grand or amazing, which uh, I think a tractor start ride would really go work down well in this country. But it's not very like fantastic but it's going to be good i think legoland's needed a high capacity ride that's what a madhouse will be a big high capacity ride for the park to have to get the crowds in now we're just going to talk about some of my future trips we've got the big easter trip where we're going up to blackpool again and uh this weekend we're actually uh down near birmingham so we're actually going to check out the legoland discovery center in birmingham never done that and the birmingham sea life center as well there'll be a vlog from that and Chessington Preview Day, a week this weekend, cannot wait. Room on the Broom Preview, I cannot wait for that day. That's it for news headlines this week, but now let's get into Merchandise Showcase. So this week in Merchandise Showcase, I'm going to be showing you a special piece of merchandise I've got here. It's actually a mug from the original Dragon River at Chessington. So there you can see there's a dragon spitting out water, we'll see more of that round. Dragon River at the top and Mystic East down the bottom. Nice white mug. The water there going round to show the head and the boat going down there. One of the old heads which sadly have gone now. The lovely mountain range in the background. The Probably the station there. Big Chinese building on the riverbank. The Buddha. Still intact. He's actually had some maintenance this year. And I still like it. These are, and a retro Chesington logo there which... Really amazing. It's very special to have this here in the hub. A uh, very special piece of merchandise there. Really cool. And I do like getting retro merchandise. I love the new retro pins at Chessington. I've got them. I'll probably show you them in a, um episode in um, uh, a few days' time or maybe next week. I really do want to show them. I did show them in my Chessington closed season update so go check that one out as well so that's it for merchandise showcase this week next week we'll be showing you some more merchandise now let's get into guess the ride so this week in guess the ride i will be giving you the guess the ride that you will guess and i'll reveal the answer in next week's episode how to play guess the ride it is just for fun all you've got to do is listen to the clues i give you and you put the name of that ride down in the comments down below and if you do get that ride correct you'll get a shout out in next week's shout out section of the show so this week's guest the ride is a b&m flying coaster that opened in 2002 but for 2016 it was given a massive overhaul which resulted in it getting vr headsets but the vr has disappeared off half the train and is now only on the back of the train if you know what that ride is, put it down in the comments down below and you'll get a shout out in next week's shout out section of the show. Good luck guys, let's get into shout outs. So this week in shout outs we've got a lot to get through for the first show of 2019. So let's get straight into the shout outs. We have Digital Dan, Wizbot Sketching, Craig Toy, Avalanche Attractions UK, Black Seat Blackout, Airtime John, Theme Park Crazy, Flow Rich The Family Vlogs, Coaster Freak, Daniel Rayner, Rob Waits, Glenn Belt, Carl Patrick Travis, Coaster J, Coaster Jen Official, Daniel Gilpen, The Justin Roth Show, Theme Park Magic, 
Theme Park Badger, Theme Park Wizard, Mr. Duncan's Vlogs, A Casual Brit, and Shane Official Parker. Thank you and well done for getting a shout out. So that's it, that's it for this week's episode of the show. First show of 2019. I hope you enjoyed it. It'll be on for every week right until the first week of November. Don't forget to check out our vlogs over Christmas from Chesington when we went there for a stay, the Chesington closed season update, the Fort Park closed season update, and don't forget to check out the videos from Birmingham this weekend and Chesington preview day the weekend after. That's it for this week's episode. Don't forget to comment and like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. That's it for this week's episode. I'll see you next week. Bye!